How old elevators were operated, imagine stepping into an elevator not one with glowing buttons and quiet hums but a clunky, brass-handled cage? A uniformed operator stands beside you, one hand on a polished lever, eyes fixed on the rising floors. This was once the height of modern luxury. But how exactly did these old elevators work and what made them so different from today's automatic systems? Early elevators were more than machines, they were performances. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, elevators ran on a combination of hydraulic pressure, pulleys, and manual control. Operators used a leveling lever long handle connected to a valve or switch that controlled the motor. Pushing it one way sent the cab upward, pulling it the other way brought it down too fast, and passengers might feel a jolt. Too slow and you'd stop short of the floor. Precision wasn't optionally, it was a skill. In hydraulic systems, water or oil pressure lifted a piston beneath the cab. In electric systems, steel cables wound around drums driven by motors above the shaft. But even those systems relied on the human touch the operator adjusted speed, monitored balance and stopped the cab, perfectly flush with the floor. It wasn't automation, it was art. The elevator operator became a cultural figure, trained in etiquette, timing and control. They often greeted passengers by name. In grand hotels, an operator's uniform symbolized reliability and status. In fact, elevator operators were so integral that when automatic models appeared in the 1940s, people didn't trust them. A machine that moved without a human, unthinkable. Over time, safety features like governors, brake systems, and automatic floor sensors replaced the operator's instincts. By the 1970s, the role had nearly vanished though. A few historic hotels still keep human operators as living memories of that golden age of vertical travel. Old elevators weren't just transportation, they were tiny theaters, moving both people and society upward. Every trip was guided by a hand, a judgment, and a sense of presence we rarely notice today, when we press a silent glowing button and drift between floors.